Hey guys, it's Snapcase, and today I'm going to be doing a speed test of the iPhone 6 Plus versus the iPhone 5. And no, I did not misspeak. We are going to be doing the iPhone 5 and not the iPhone 5S. And so we're going to be testing out the speed. First thing that we're going to be doing is doing a boot test. We're going to see. What I'm going to do is hold down both power buttons, press them at the exact same time, hold them down until the Apple logo comes on, and then let go. So here we go in three, two, one. And we can clearly see that the iPhone 6 Plus reached the Apple logo significantly faster. What I'm going to do is as soon as the iPhone 6 enters the main welcome screen, I'm going to hit the stopwatch button and we're going to calculate and see how much longer it's going to take the iPhone 5 to reach that same welcome screen. So you can see the Apple logo already lit up brighter on the iPhone 6 Plus. It's still dim on the iPhone 5. Get my trigger finger ready here. And there we go. Start that. Of course, the iPhone 6 Plus has a 1.4 gigahertz processor, while the iPhone 5 has a 1.3 gigahertz processor, so you would not think that that would make that big of a difference. The iPhone 6 Plus, of course, has hexa-core graphics, while the iPhone 5 has only triple-core graphics. So there we go, 21 and a half seconds difference slower. The iPhone 5 was 21 and a half seconds slower to reach the welcome screen than the iPhone 6 Plus. So next thing we're going to do is we're just going to test out some apps here, see what the difference is. Of course now that these are apples apples, we're comparing apples apples because both phones have no SIM card installed. And so first we will just open up a popular game that's got a lot of uh, graphics involved so just gonna hit these at the exact same time in three two one and it appears that the iPhone 6 plus is even a little quicker off the click as well it's a little bit more responsive to the actual clicks and so one one thousand two one thousand so at least a uh, two second difference there in the load times I'm gonna keep those running in the background while I load some other things we'll load the YouTube app See, it's a little quicker, and I'm I'm definitely trying to favor the iPhone 5 just a little bit. If I'm going to give anybody a head start, you know, any sort of millisecond head start, it's going to be the iPhone 5, and the iPhone 6 is still loading programs faster. Next thing we'll do is we'll just open up Safari, and these are already both programmed to go to 9 to 5 Mac, and of course, the iPhone 6 Plus is just much quicker when it comes to that. In Safari so we'll even go to something simple like the calendar see if there's any difference in that and just barely barely a difference at all if anything um, so we'll try the weather app a uh, little different but but not much so with the basic apps that are coming on the phone you know not a lot of difference but with the more graphic intensive apps there's definitely going to be a difference in speed. Now this test is good for people who are thinking about buying the iPhone 5 because the iPhone 5C is available now for a lot cheaper than you can buy the iPhone 6 Plus. So if you're thinking about the iPhone uh, 5C, purchasing that uh, instead, then that gives you a little bit of an idea of the speed difference involved there. But do keep in mind that Apple phases out their products every three years. So this is gonna be a brick pretty soon you may not even be able to reach it through your two-year contract if you do it that route before this thing becoming uh, really laggy and slow. So I hope you enjoyed this test. Please subscribe. Got a lot of videos coming soon that are going to cover a lot more things, tips and tricks of iOS 8. And also we're going to have some torture tests of the new iPhone. So please subscribe to that. Hit the subscribe button right there. Hit the like button over here. And catch me on all the social media sites. Thanks a lot, guys.